Okay, welcome to bidhitter.com. This is Stop Planner. I'm going to do a quick little vi little video on POT Potash Corp, where it had a quick opening move for about a point, had an ascending triangle, broke out, and then held the bid at the breakout level, at the whole number where it uh, it provided a great opportunity to get as much size as you like for a very small very small risk for a high percentage of uh, and tick gain so let's quickly go through the video uh, here we go it's potash uh, here we go let's pause it um i don't have a video of all of it i do have well let me well, let me start how i found the stock so the stock had an uh opening move for about you know, good 60, 70 cents. Uh, I was alerted in the virtual prop desk room where you should definitely check out 14 day free trial. And this right here is what I call bull flag after large up move. This alone provided a great opportunity if we got long around this area, which would have been the downtrend line. Or if you're reading the tape, you could saw that. Oh, by the way, this is. How, how the tape looks on the chart for the most part, it's the ticks. It's this very, very basic tape green, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. Each little green dot means it was put on the offer, red on the bid. So, you can see it was flagging here, flagging here, it kind of broke down from the 70 level, popped back up, and you can see the 70 cent level started holding the bid one, two, three times. So, right here would have been a decent opportunity to get long with a stop below here or here depending on what your risk parameters are and so forth want to give it a lot of room or not so this right here is a bull flag on the, after the opening move and provide a great setup here on a held bid at the 70 level so this is not the primary focus of this video is this focus this primary this video is uh primarily focused on the 55 level POT. Also, this was later last week. This 55 level has been in play for the two, three days after that, I believe. Let me just pull up a quick chart. Three day, five minute pot. As you can see from this video, I mean this chart right here, this is the level. This is the tape that we're looking at now. Um, 55 was definitely in play. Um, you know, we show this video here. Here, I don't have the video here. We show this video here of how you could have yielded on this pullback. You know, bought 55s, risking maybe a couple cents to gain about 80 cents. So risk reward wise, say you would risk 8 cents, it'd be 10 to 1. You do that trade all day, every day, and still come on top, even if you're right half the time or less. But as I was saying, this 55 level was very important where it was in play for the next couple days. Here's some buying, here's support level, support level. And even though it did break down here, there were buyers present in this area. 84 was notable in my book in 80. So you can see here again, same thing. Just right off the first five minute bar on the today actually. It bounced off here and it rallied for a solid point. Dollar twenty actually. I I made this play today. It's my only play I made today, and this is very important because they, at least in my eyes, they've been accumulating it in this little area here. So right when I saw this bar, I was buying from fifty five. I was gonna give it. Um, I was gonna give it ten twenty, about twenty cents I believe. So I was buying here, and then I very little size, just so I had a piece of it. You know, I like, ha I like having a little piece of stock, you know, just <clears throat> just so it makes me more focused on it and makes me know how my orders are getting taken and so forth. So once I saw there's some little c accumulation here at the 80 cent level, 84 was notably the level from, from the day before, and you know, it dropped down here, it couldn't really break this level, it couldn't hold below that level. So balance and actually right here when I make the higher low and I saw more accumulating on the 81 level I sized up I sized up the bunch of size and uh you know this is my only trade of the day that I made I scaled out 
Now I want to put a stop at the low of the day and kind of let it run, but I can't really give up a point like that. Uh, so, you know, point and a half, whatever you want it to be. Um, this is my only trade of the day, and then I left. I went uh, took a nap or something. I was not feeling good. I probably wouldn't have uh, traded today if this was nowhere near this level. So let's go back to the video to uh, see why it was important and so forth. So you can see 55. <clears throat> Right now it's above the level it broke out. Let me fast forward this tape a little bit so you get to the video of the 55. Alright. Okay. It's 55 12s on printing on the bid. Oh, like 3 cents spread, 2 cents spread. 06. So, you know, this so far is a strong stock of 3.5%. Corn was hitting, corn and we were hitting limit up. Very strong. Um, this is something I want to be long. So, see, just putting a little bit on the offer. Put six in there, so I go four, oh two, let's see. Let's see what happens around here. It's 55 levels. It's kind of a level here, but really watching this level of 90s. Oh, okay. It's not folks, on that. Hit spot set. You see, I'm not kind of positive, but all the way to 03, 02, 02, spray the offer. Now that's interesting to me. That's something I keep in my mind where it's, I guess you call this little flag on the tick, whatever you want to call it, but went to 05 and boom, it got sprayed up. So that's definitely a level of interest to me. You know, I could definitely try to accumulate some here. Excuse me. I could definitely try to accumulate some there and just build a position. So straight off that level, off the 55 level, which, you know, as you can see from here, 55 held the bid. But it later dropped, but still in a level of interest. It's a little more. 16, 17, 16, 20s. So fast forward. I you couldn't know, really break the high, but you know, it's still holding above this 55 level. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I'm almost there. Now, 09. Let's go ahead and hold that area. You know, in, in a larger time frame, this is still considered a bull flag, I believe, on the 15 minute time frame. So let's see, 06s. is. 01s, 03s. A little bit of a line out, too. A little bit of white prints, find it's interesting to me. Oh, uh, up. But now we're at the 55 level. 55 by 5501. You know, it's, it's, it's being traded on the bid, so let's, uh, let's watch it here. If the 01's oh, the little bit of volume. 01's, oh, 01 oh, again, 03. This 01's oh, pretty interesting to me. It's not really trading below that. 02's oh, on the offer. There we go. That was something interesting. Let's go back in about two seconds. Okay. 5,800 shares. It's is that. not that much size, but it's it's something. Let's see what it does there. So, right here. The threes are ones. Threes are threes. Ones, now it's up to 55. Boom. O threes again. O one. See if they hit it. Threes, ones, or one. This was a previous level over here. It's definitely something to watch. One, boom. They just hit the bids for a bunch of size, and it's still there. Fifty-five is still there. So, it's just now, this is interesting. See, all that size they just went through. All that size just went through. One, 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 a couple. It's not that much size but it's interesting because there's only supposed to be a hundred shares on the books on the bid at 55 so I find that very interesting you know they're still soaking up they're still soaking it up my point is this print is kind of a through print but you see this guy is showing a hundred shares on Arca on 55 it's a strong stock it's up 3.3 percent the whole ag uh, ag space was very strong that day and 
55 is holding the bid right now. They are accumulating a bunch of size here while they're only showing 100. So that's interesting to me. They're hiding their size and there's, there's a buyer there. It's clearly a buyer there because now it's 200 shares on the bid. But I find that interesting because as you can see, it can't go below 55 right now. It just can't. If 55 dropped, that would be interesting, but it didn't. Oh, I don't tell me what next. Okay. So, just off there, off the bat there. 55's held on the bid. Showed 100 shares on the bid on 55, but hundreds, not thousands of shares went through on that. So, so you trade it up. Trade it up. So, the play I made, play you should make is 55's hold the bid there's soaking a bunch of bunch size soaking a bunch of size soaking a bunch of size and there's only 100 shares you buy some you buy some at 55 level or on a different exchange than where the guys are actually buying or a penny above it if you want to chisel in front of it, whatever you whatever your style is you know they would have dropped you know you could have risked one two three four pennies if you're quick say two three pennies and just off the bat, it's already trading at 10 cents. You know, that's a, that's a type of play, at least in my book, where you can size up and still have a high probability play. So, let's see. Sixes, still above that 55 old. 55 old is pretty important. Forward a little bit. Oh, okay, so I did trade back to 55. This, this second part that trades at 55 is going to be very important because if it does hold 55 again, and so far it is, how many shares on there? 500, 700 shares? I'm, how many shares is this? I'm just alone on 55. Just keep watching. If it holds again, that's, that's a really good play. See, it held again. So, just to recap, 55 showed a very low, limited amount of shares on the bid, the red prints. And once it tested that level, you just couldn't break below that because there's a hidden buyer there. So, buyer, look, it will drop to 55 and step back up. Bid will be 0102. So, you know, the play right now is still get along at 55 or 5501. Get out below it. It's a simple trade. You know, you're risking a couple pennies to make 10, 15, 20 cents. I, I was looking for the highs. So, <clears throat> let's, just, let's just watch a little bit more. See? Let's pause that. This is the second test here. This is the initial test that we went over. Second test where they, re they, they retest the level and it held. That's freaking bullish to me. Near the highs on a some sort of a flag. Stocks up four percent now. Could have risked, you know, if you're slow, five five cents maybe. If you're quick, two, three cents. To make thirty, forty cents right now. That's what, ten to one? It's pretty good in my book. Let's uh, fast forward this a little more. Thirties, yeah, forty. And it did provide opportunities on pullbacks and so far. I'm still holding this uh, uptrend line. Um, but that's just really what I wanted to go over. Just that play, how it went up to test at 55 level, held the level on the tape. Didn't necessarily show it on the chart because if you look at the chart, excuse me. If you looked at the chart, it was it fell below 55. So you're looking at the chart, you're like, oh, okay, maybe I could buy some of these 90s if it goes there. But this is one of the advantages of using the uh, the level two and the prints that you can see buyers and sellers real time and pounce on them to to create great risk reward trading opportunities. So that's pretty much all I'm gonna go over. Um, have a good day. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Follow me on Twitter at stop underscore hunter. And if you have any questions, email me at stophunter at bidhitter.com. Have a good one.